This Brussels sprout salad is a bright, fresh, and easy way to enjoy Brussels sprouts. Tossed in a zingy yogurt-based lemon parmesan dressing, it is a breeze to make and can also be made a few days in advance to serving. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie. This is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. We'll start by toasting the hazelnuts. Simply add them to a rimmed baking sheet and move them to a 180C 350F oven for about five minutes. Make sure to set a timer because they're super easy to burn. Now we'll get on with making the dressing, which is zingy and flavorful, but really simple. The great thing about this recipe is that you can make the dressing in the same bowl that you toss the salad in, which limits the number of dishes that you have to do. In a large bowl, add some plain Greek yogurt, some finely grated Parmesan cheese, a squeeze of lemon juice, some Dijon mustard, and a grated clove of garlic. Optionally, also add a chopped anchovy filet. You can leave this out if you want to keep it vegetarian, but I love the complex flavor that anchovies add to the dressing. It ends up tasting similar to a Caesar. Add a generous grind of black pepper and then whisk everything until it's thoroughly combined. Now it's time to thinly shave some Brussels sprouts. You can do this with a sharp chef's knife and some patience, or with a food processor or a mandolin. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that they're thinly shredded and then add them to the bowl with the dressing. I like to use a mandolin because it's quick and not as much of a pain to clean as my food processor. To the Brussels sprouts, also add in a very thinly sliced shallot. Then go ahead and chop some parsley as well. Then chop your toasted hazelnuts and add them to the bowl. Finally, add a handful of dried cranberries for a little bit of sweetness. You can also add in other dried fruit here. Chopped dried apricots would be excellent here, as would sultanas or raisins. Then all you need to do is toss everything together until well combined and it's completely coated in the dressing. And if you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!